Now to that horrific bus crash in Orange County. This week, a community on Long Island will say goodbye to a beloved band director and a retired social studies teacher. Both were killed when that bus they were riding in left the highway and rolled down an embankment. Yeah, the bus was had six. Uh, was one of six buses filled with students and staff from Farmingdale High School on their way to a band camp in Pennsylvania when tragedy struck. Now. Family, friends, and loved ones are saying goodbye to wake for retired teacher Beatrice Ferrari. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negevin is in Farmingdale with more. Tom. Sandra and David, the wind and the rain can't stop them around here. It's a packed house in there. A steady flow of people in and out, 200 at a time to remember one of the women who lost their lives to this tragedy. And we're learning more about the people who survived it as well. Not just about them, but about this community and how it's doing all it can to support them. At times, the line runs right down the street, scores turning out to pay their respects to the matriarch of Farmingdale's school band program. She was a lovely person, human being, you know, good teacher, good community person, always giving to others. Beatrice Ferrari was 77, retired after 30 years as a history teacher. She was a volunteer chaperone with the band program, loved going on the trips, and working with the kids. My younger granddaughter was on bus too. Oh my gosh. I can't say another I, word. I Emotions running very high here. Many of the children are still recovering from their injuries. Some still hospitalized. The crash happened westbound on I-84 in Wawayanda Thursday. The bus taking students from Farmingdale High School to band camp in Greeley, Pennsylvania. Ms. Ferrari and 43-year-old band director Gina Pellicieri were killed. Band members Charlie Cartagena and Molly Flockhart were on one of the other buses in the convoy. We all looked up and we saw the bus in the embankment and we were like, no, that can't be one of our buses until we saw everyone running down there. I could just not stop crying on and off, just like worrying about everyone and everything. Alexis Mullally's 14-year-old sister, Adrena, is among the injured, hospitalized after the crash. She's currently recovering and she's doing okay. How are you doing? Uh, I'm okay. I'm hanging tough for them. As of right now, we're being told that seven of the victims are still hospitalized. There will be another wake out here tomorrow for band director Gina Pellicieri and a proposal that some years old that would make travel on I-84 safer, picking up steam now as a result of this tragedy. We're learning more about that. We'll tell you all about it tonight on our News at 5.